So coming back, the next thing to do now is to create uh, like we have already our file reading message source. Now we have to, to, to use a channel where um, we are going to, to, to send like the file, okay? So in that order, let's create here a channel. Let's just call it by, okay, let, it can be like a direct uh, channel, okay? And let's call it by a file input, okay? No, file in. Okay, it's nice. And let's return a new direct channel. Okay. Um, let's go back and let's read the documentation because we are learning together. Okay, direct channel is a channel that invokes a, sing a single subscriber for each sent message. Okay. Um, so just try to understand okay this component but we are going to to need it because we are going to pass our file okay into this channel let's go back to our documentation uh, the next step is to uh, to launch the the job okay uh, through um like we we have to 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 take we we already have the file okay now we have to create the file message to job request. We have a file and we transform it as a message. Okay. Now we are going to use the, the, the file, uh, transform it like in, uh, into message. Okay. And then uh, launch the, our spring uh, um, batch job. Okay. So let's just go to practice. It's going to be better. In that order, we just need to create here a new component which gonna be um, let's call it by a file file message to job request okay let's just uh, create it like that let's just create it as a component and um, let's add here a setter okay so what it's gonna have it's gonna receive okay it's gonna receive a job like a spring batch job okay it's gonna receive also um let's call it by um a string yes it's a string file name okay which gonna be uh, for default it's gonna be input that file name Okay, it's gonna be just like that. Input that file that name. So uh, you are going to understand uh, well uh, what we are trying to achieve here. And uh, let's create the job launch. Uh, yeah, the job launch request. Okay, job launch request. Okay, uh, it's gonna be job launch request. So, uh, for those who doesn't know, in order to, to launch a job, you need some parameters, okay? So, uh, right now we are going to create our job parameters. It's going to be is equal new. It's going to be our job parameter builder. So, now let's uh, set some values. Example, add string. What we are adding here, let's just put the file name, okay? And, um, sorry, um, the, the, the file message to job request, we have to understand that it's going to receive a file, okay, has a message, okay? We can just call it by file uh, message. So... Um, the first para uh, parameter is uh, the file name, which we can uh, get it from um, the message itself, okay, file message that get payload because it's the, the, the message, uh, the payload is a file, okay, then uh, we, we get it, uh, the, the, the file uh, absolute path, okay, so this is the file name. Uh, maybe 
we need to add something like um, date because uh, for those who knows um, uh, how Spring uh, Batch works, we need some unique, okay, unique, unique key in order to, to allow uh, our job to, example, if we have here file called uh, A, okay, A.txt, okay, without a unique key, uh, we cannot uh, reprocess this, uh, this file, okay? Uh, so we, we need to, to, we can just process this file once. So in order to, to process it like uh, more than once, the same file, we have to specify for job, for, for job um, param, okay? Some uniqueness uh, key, okay? Let's just call it by uniqueness. Um, and let's just set it like a new date. Okay, because it, every time when we launch our our job, it's going to be with new date. Okay, so we, we can assure that um, we are going to, to, to process the same file uh, twice. And the last, we just need to create our job launch, okay, with the job and the job parameters, yes. Okay, to job param. This is the way that you create the file message to job request. So, uh, just in order to not forget, okay, uh, we have to annotate uh, this as a transformer, okay? Transformer, because we are transforming, okay? You can just read once again the documentation, okay? We are transforming this message Okay, so the message uh, was a uh, file, okay, as a message, and we transform it to a job launch request, okay. So let's go back to our uh, sales integration config, okay. And now what we need to do, okay, I'm just going to give you guys a bonus, okay, because we are here to, to share our uh, knowledge and learn by uh, just leave your comment on the comment uh, on the comment section and what we are going to do once we have uh, example our file okay we have our channel and we we, we are already uh, transformed uh, the file message uh, to job request we can still do something like for example uh, as we are going to process this very big uh, file we want to rename the file while we are processing, okay? Example, the file extension was uh, CSV, but when we are processing it, it's gonna have the, uh, the in this case, suffix process, uh, processing, okay? So this is what we are trying to do. Why we do that? Because maybe if you have the two instances of uh, this, um, uh, this service, okay? This batch service, uh, and uh, it's it won't allow the both instance to process the same file. So in that order, let's just create here another um, another uh, message uh, handler. Okay, we are going to call it by a message. Uh, we are going to create a message handler, and we are going to tell like uh, the name of this method. It's going to be like file rename um, rename processing. Okay, uh, handler. Just I'm not good. Um, not good by like giving uh, names, but uh, it's going to be very fast because what we need is a file writing message. Okay, it's going to be is equal new file writing um, message handler this one and this file writing message handler also as we can see here it receives a file okay so in that order we are just going to say new file and we specify our um, directory okay we specify our uh, directory um, 
it's not only directory, but it's like our inbound path, okay? Our file path. And what uh, else we can do with this? Guys, take a look, okay? Reading, what does it mean? Because it's very nice to learn, okay? So you can just see here implementation, blah, blah, blah. And I know all the stuff, so I just cannot give you everything for free. And you have to sacrifice yourself because it's gonna pay you later so we are going to set first is a file exist mode okay if the file exists mode then we are going to replace because we don't want to 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 create a new one okay then um also we have to set um like set what uh, yes so we are going to 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 delete okay the source file because we are uh, automatically like we are copying okay so uh, we are copying okay and let's just say like boolean true requires okay requires reply channel let's set oops boolean that false okay we don't want any reply channel for that for this file that we are like recreating or copying we are going to to specify okay a new name Be before that file uh, yes before that we are going to say okay just use the default um file name generator okay and then to use the the file rename generator okay that set by rename generator okay so let's just create here a file rename generator let's just create here public uh, file um, let's default file okay file rename generator let's just go back file uh, name um, generator generator it's going to be is equal new um, default file name generator okay so uh, there, there are some good stuff uh, on spring uh, ecosystem which is called uh, expression okay but for now payload that um, name because we are going to take uh, spring spring understand very well the expressions okay uh, try to to to, uh, to search on google or like i don't know other source okay uh, what is uh, what are the spring expressions so as you remember we have here a message okay file is message so we are going to take the payload okay right renaming okay um we are going to take the name plus we are going to concatenate okay we are going to concatenate the um extension that i was telling you guys okay processing yeah it have to be like this and here we close yes so can you can you can you understand that so we are taking from the payload the name okay the name of the payload let's suppose that the payload was uh, the name of our file this file okay pascual store that csv and we are going to concatenate okay a, a a suffix that processing okay in that order while we are processing the file okay it's gonna have the the extension processing okay so let's now return the file name generator and here what we are going to use well done guys this one so here we are going to return the file message um hmm. so it's complaining okay um uh, anyways let's just make this to return a file writing uh, message handler because I think it's extends or implements okay well 
Anyways, uh, this is how we set up our file rename processing handler, okay? With a file name generator. Very nice concept here, guys. Uh, try to, to, to check a little bit more about this.